Hi everyone, it's Nicolas Dorier. Uh, in this podcast, I will show you exactly how you can uh, set up your own BTC Pay server node from scratch and as well to have LND installed on it, which means that you will be able to receive Lightning Network payments. But not only that, I will also show you how to connect your uh, Zap wallets uh, remotely. So like, it's basically the simplest way that exists today to host your own uh, LND node. So, just uh, just to tell to everybody what's happening right now in Lightning. So there's two kind of people working on it. There's w those that prefer having a Lightning node inside uh, the mobile mobile device, for example. So Eclair typically did that, uh, but it has some problems. I think that. Um, if you don't want to risk to lose money when you go online, uh, offline, uh, you 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 can only send. So, like if you are using Eclair right now, uh, as of uh, 3 August 2018, uh, you cannot receive money on it. It's just because if you get offline and the person that you are connected to know it, then they can try to cheat on you. Uh, they, they, so lots of people are trying to find ideas about how to run a uh, lightning node inside inside small device but I think it's a fundamental problem that uh, device like phone are not always connected like what happens if you go on to a trip for example you're, you're, you're toast so I think the best way is like just to have a server that is always connected hosted somewhere and remotely connect to it and I will show you it's it's actually quite, uh, quite, quite, quite easy to, to get it down. So uh, you go on this page. So BTC Pay, once again, you can host it on any host that you want. I'm just using Azure because it's the simplest way. It's not the, the least expensive way, but it's the simplest one that doesn't require any command line. Uh, very easy. So I assume in this video that you have a Azure account, okay? Uh, I don't think it's ideal because Azure works fine if you have a good credit card, but else you cannot pay in Bitcoin, so like uh, it's not it's not ideal. Uh, but well, we'll go on this, and also I, I I hope that you have your own domain name. If not, I advise you uh, Easy DNS. They accept Bitcoin and they don't have a shit interface uh, as uh, Bitcoin payment as BitPay. Uh, so. I, I also very like Gandhi.net, they accept Bitcoin, but sadly their uh, payment page don't uh, or, or only support the, the BIP70 that only BitPay uh, know about and only copay while it works. So I, I don't advise you Gandhi for now until they change their, uh, their, their, their Bitcoin payment, else they are great. Uh, so I will use EasyDNS as well to show you how to use it in Gandhi. So Try to pick your domain name, and then we'll 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 work on this. Uh, so let's get started. So going here, GitHub.com, BTC Pay Server, BTC Pay Server, Azure, and just click Deploy to Azure. So as a name, it's not really important. So I like, will just say uh, demo of BTC Pay Server. Okay, demo of BTC Pay Server, admin password, well, whatever. And what is important, so select BitPay, uh, BTC Pay, uh, BTC, and uh, Lightning Network Implementation. Here you will select LND. Here you know you have two choice LND. And I agree to this term, purchase. Then it will create your instance. Uh, you need to wait like maybe 10, 5, 10 minutes. Uh, so let, let, let's meet again after this. Okay, so we are not, not now down. Uh, what you can see is that when here in notification, we see deployment succeed and you have a link, Microsoft template. You just click on it. And then it opens this page and in output here, you can see information about your deployments. We, we'll come back to that a bit later. You have also a second way to reach the same page is by going to resource group. 
demo of BTC Pay server. And here you have the deployment here. So deployment name Microsoft templates. And then you have your outputs, same page, okay? You have two ways of doing this. So now if I'm going there, uh, you will see that my BTC Pay instance is starting. So by default, I have a bad certificate, it's normal because it's not my domain, okay? It's the one of Azure. Uh, but you can connect to it. And as you will be able to see, uh, well, my node is synchronizing, okay? Uh, so what will happen is that the first time uh, you create an account, this account will be considered um, an administrator. So I will create one, I don't know. The email is not important, okay? So this, uh, this administrator server, uh, this administrator icon, you can see it's administrator because it has access to server settings, okay? Inside server settings, you have several things that will interest us. Uh, the first thing that will interest us is to set up properly our domain name. So like in the maintenance place here, uh, you, can, you can set up your own domain name. So in EasyDNS, so what you need to do is to make a CNAME record uh, that point to your server. So your normal domain is this one, okay? The one provided by uh, Azure, okay? What you need to do is to say that test BTC pay, uh, te test, uh, I will call podcast, okay? I want to, no, to uh, sorry, in EasyDNS, you, just to see, to show you how I did. So inside my main page here, I click on my domain that I bought on this. Then DNS settings, and here I click on C name. Edit. Okay, and now I want to say podcast dot server dot org point to my Azure address. Notice that I put a, a point here a dot. Okay, you, you you must not forget about it. So you do this. Uh, so podcast, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You confirm. Okay. Now I go back to BTC pay server and instead of this domain name, I want to use podcast.btcpayserver.org. Ser okay. Uh, the password here is the one that you set up in the wizard just earlier when you set up your instance. So I will put it here and you just click confirm. Okay, so once you have done that, you, your server will basically reboot uh, soon. It might take, okay, between one and five minutes and then you will have uh, uh, access to this new URL. So I can, I can try it already. You see that if I try it already, my, my certificate is not good. Uh, it's just because it takes time to renew the certificate. So I will put that aside for now and we will come back uh, when it's fi it finally refreshed. Uh, normally it takes one minute, something like this. Okay, actually, as soon as I stopped the recording, it was ready. So it takes less than one minute to get it. So as you can see now, my website is secured. I have my certificate, I have my domain name, and I can start having fun. Um, so I don't remember my account, though. I think it was server.com, blah, blah. So now when I go back, 
in the same menu in maintenance, time to time you can do update. Same thing, maintenance. Uh, when you update, it can take between one and two minutes to to get it done. Uh, but what interests us today is actually inside services. Here you 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 can see that you have gRPC services that are exposed, which means that you can connect to your LND via this URL here. So see information. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, sorry for this small interruption. I was not expecting a 404 error. So I needed to open Visual Studio and, and fix the bug. Uh, so normally the, when you will run, uh, try this video by yourself, you will have a nice error message in the 404. So the problem was that, um, well, my BTCP server is not synced. So I need to wait it sync. And because I know that you are very uh, hungry to get my new video, I will not wait today to get it done. Uh, luckily, I have another server somewhere, so I can show you how it works. Um, so I have my BTC pay, Nicola Dorier, super private server. And this one has a LND that is already synced, so I will just use this. Uh, not even sure of the password anymore because it's a test. Okay. So in service, you see this, you click on C information and in C information, you can see C QR code. So this QR code let, uh, can be used on a bunch of wallets that, uh, that will be released. So the Zap mobile wallets that uh, Jack Muller show you, you can just scan it and it will just connect to your LND. Uh, on my side, I don't have this. So like I will just use Zap uh, that is here. So for some reason, Zap is always a bit slow to start. So uh, send, your, uh, send your request to, uh, to, to Jack Muller about this. And meanwhile, uh, let's look some cat pictures I found out. So like, uh, uh, okay, so, ah, it's done. So, uh, you just have to click on BTC Pay Server on your Zap. Next. So here it asks you your connection string. It's not super secure because you can see my macaron, but well, it's okay. Uh, and I will just go into, uh, so you need, you need to pa paste the connection string of BTC Pay server for this, you go and click here. I hope that one day they will support this one, but here you need to click on this link. You have this connection string, copy, paste, next. Do you want to connect? Of course. And bam. So here you, you have your own LND node that you can use to request payment, to receive payment, to do whatever you want. And it will just work. And uh, yeah, that's about all that I wanted to show you today. Uh, I will need to change my macaron probably because it leaks in the video, but that's it. Thanks for listening. See you for the next podcast.